And we begin tonight with a weather impact alert as we continue to track monsoon storms across parts of the valley. Our 12 News weather tracker is live right now near Scottsdale. This is at the loop 101 and the 51 and it looks like the rain is coming down pretty steady there. We've been seeing flashes of sporadic lightning here and there all across the valley. And of course we have that smell of rain in the air. Now take a look at this video from Santan Valley. This was on our 12 News Weather Watchers Facebook page. Some pretty good rain coming down in the neighborhood earlier this evening, and that storm packed plenty of thunder and lightning with it as well. And in Mesa, lightning caused a palm tree to catch fire. Jackie Blackburn sent us this video tonight saying it happened near Stapley and University. This comes as about 2,000 customers across APS and SRP are without power tonight due to the storms in Scottsdale and the Metro Phoenix area. And now to the other part of our monsoon, which involves dust. We saw quite a bit of that moving through the valley this evening as well. This is a time lapse of downtown Phoenix. This is covering about 30 minutes or so from 645 just until about 715. And you can see all of that dust moving into the area, making it a little hard to see off into the distance there as the sun started to go down. Our 12 News weather tracker got first hand looks at that dust around 7 o'clock. This was on the Loop 101 near McKellips Road. Good evening, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us for 12 News at 10. I'm Kariva Devine. I'm Mark Curtis. Let's get right to your weather impact forecast as we track any remaining storm activity tonight. Meteorologist Lindsay Riley is here breaking it all down for us. Lindsay, what are you seeing? Well, we're still seeing some showers and thunderstorms. You saw it on the tracker out in Scottsdale. Here's the latest radar. Not done with the rain and storms yet, but nothing is severe. And you can see this line extending from the West Valley all the way out to Fountain Hills. And the general track is to the south and east. So if you live out toward Gilbert Chandler Tempe, expect some of these cells to move into your neighborhood over the next 30 minutes to an hour. But you can see some heavy downpours coming down right now now over I-17, North Scottsdale along the 101, seeing some heavy downpours as well. Further to the south, these thunderstorms down in Pinal County are moving to the south and east away from the valley. So what you're seeing in Casa Grande, that is moving south and east. As far as the high country is concerned, a lot of what we had earlier starting to fizzle out. So actually in the valley and Pinal County is where we're seeing the most active weather across the state. Much of the rim and as well as the White Mountains clearing out at this point and even northern Arizona, just a few sprinkles left over. You can see the majority of the showers in Phoenix and also headed down I-10 toward the Tucson area. As far as our rain chances are concerned in the Phoenix area, about another hour, hour and a half to go. By midnight, our chances drop off to about 10%. We will be dry through the morning drive tomorrow and we'll have another slight chance for a storm tomorrow. Karibe. All right, Lindsay, thank you. 